Sarah Palin, of course, didn't get her contract renewed with Fox News. And the speculation is, of course, that it's because she's nuts and because why would you want to, to, to discredit your already silly organization by having on probably the biggest joke that ever could have possibly been vice president in United States history? So they got rid of her. And then also, word came in yesterday, they did not re-up Dick Morris's contract. So they're trying to cleanse themselves of the really, really stupid people. They still love stupid people. I mean, hell, Hannity has a program. But... And Fox and Friends, which should whoo hoo. But listen to this. So we're gonna play uh, an awesome little montage that Lawrence O'Donnell had on last night. A tribute to officially the worst, least accurate political pundit of all time, Dick Morris. This was an unbelievable win for Sarah Palin. In fact, I think that it unveiled a level of skill in communication that I really have not seen since Ronald Reagan. Uh, she is a superstar. Her ability to bypass the conventional wisdom of Washington, her ability to speak in a tone, in a, a genre, uh, a style uh, that was so authentic and so outside of the mainstream, it was just unbelievable. Barack Obama might be, might be the first anti-American president we've ever had. You cannot count out at this point Point, Herman Cain and Michelle Bachman. I guarantee you, Sean, based on what I've heard from third parties who I've spoken to, that William Jefferson Clinton is going to cast his ballot for Mitt Romney. I can't account for those two differences because there are so many factors that go into it. Uh, my general comment about these polls is that they understate the Romney vote and overstate the Obama vote because they are using the 2008 model of turnout. Are you still confident Mitt Romney is uh, going to win the election? Absolutely, by a good bit. All right. Good morning, everybody. I believe if the election were held today, Romney would win by four or five points. I believe he would carry Florida, Ohio, Virginia. I believe he would carry Nevada. I believe he would carry Pennsylvania. Oh, come on. Pennsylvania, and I believe he would be competitive in Michigan. We're going to win by, uh, Romney will win by a very large margin, a landslide, if you will. Um, <laughs> I believe he'll win by more than five points in the popular vote. Uh, I think he'll get 325 electoral votes. Good evening, Dick. Um, all right, Dick, Hi. Uh, what do you think? We're going to win by a landslide. Uh, the, uh, it will be the biggest surprise in recent American political history. Slide. Instead, I've been in a bit of a mudslide on my face. Oh, man. That is a tribute to the least accurate political pundit in history, Dick Morris.